So I've come to talk to the students today, which I'm really excited about. And um, what I'm going to talk about is trust in business, because I think we've seen during recent events, really, there's been a bit of a breakdown in that trust, not just with business, but institutions generally, politics, NGOs, academia to an extent. And I think it's um, incumbent upon us to talk about it and talk about what we're going to do. So what do I think makes a successful leader? Oh, difficult question. But I think, I think for me, resilience would come number one, because uh, particularly now, the world's changing so rapidly. I think your ability to uh, continue to stay on course, um, not be sort of discouraged by you know, lack of achievement or whatever else, I think really is very important. One of the things I'm going to talk about today is, is what makes me tick in a, in a kind of work sense on a day-to-day -day basis. And I help companies and I support them sometimes through difficult and challenging circumstances. And it makes me feel proud uh, that I've managed to do that and supported them and the people who work for them. So what advice would I give to students starting out a career in business? Well, the question I most get asked is, did you have a plan? And I can confidently say that I didn't have a plan and I didn't know where I was going to end up, you know, 34 years into a working life and hoping to continue. Um, and, and, and actually when I talk to my peers and when I talk to colleagues, you know, largely you'll find people didn't have a big plan. Uh, there are some exceptions. So my first piece of advice is do not be dogmatic and think that you have to have some big life plan to which you're seriously going to stick to because life's just not like that. The second thing I'd say is that um, opportunities are often unexpected and it's because of where you've put yourself or how you've connected with people. So again, don't think that you can plan all the opportunities that might arise. And the third thing I'd say is when those opportunities arise, take a bit of risk because some of the best moments for me in terms of when I've moved on have been when I've taken much more risk.